Someone once said, the shortest distance between two hearts is laughter, and it's true. But after 20 years on stage, I know that laughter is also the quickest way to get 500, 1,000, even 3,000 hearts together. So while in my speaking, I do teach scientifically proven tips and strategies to be more resilient, particularly through times of change. It's that deep emotional connection that you only get when you're in an auditorium surrounded by people laughing till tears stream down their faces. That unique energy is what will make your event remembered long after your delegates have gone home. Jeremy, picture yourself at home with a chamomile tea. Oh, mate, how's business going? Oh, kicking girls with both feet, big fella. Don't you worry about that, sunshine. <laughs> I believe people are at their strongest when we all work together for a common goal. That's why for the 12 books and counting in my best-selling What I Wish I Knew series, I've interviewed over a thousand inspirational people from all around the world, from international sportsmen and women to a Buddhist nun who works with prisoners on death row in Los Angeles. When you ask that many people how to do life well, some familiar themes come up again and again and again. And I distill all that wisdom down and give it to your people in one inspirational hour. And because I'm a former Australian Comic of the Year, I weave all that in with hilarious stories and laugh out loud observations. So many of us walk through life just going, don't make a mistake, everyone will notice. Don't make a mistake, everyone will notice. Don't make a mistake, everyone will notice. Everyone else isn't looking at you, they're walking through their own life going, don't make a mistake, everyone will notice. Don't make a mistake, everyone will notice. When you refuse to change, you don't hold on to the past, you just lose the future. With advancing technology, continually changing regulations, and the constant appearance of new disruptive business models, accepting and even embracing change is the price of admission to a successful business. And please understand what I'm saying, not saying, oh, isn't life full of change? Isn't change such a big part of life? No, life is change. Change is the very nature of existence. But because we don't like it, we all try and build this little bubble of sameness around ourselves. Now you walk into your favourite restaurant, it's like, oh, nice. New owner, whole new menu, oh, not nice. Every chance I get to speak to an audience, I believe I must do three things. I must educate to give them practical new ways to work. I must inspire to help them confidently embrace tough times and face an uncertain future. And I have to help them connect with each other as a team, of course, but more importantly, with themselves. I have to help your people reconnect with that deeper, truer self we all have inside of us, so that they have the emotional energy and that sense of purpose to keep going no matter what life throws at them. Everyone says if you can do pain well, and think back on your own life, think back, you know, those times in your life when you're dumped in the deep end and your previous life experience hasn't prepared you for who you need to be and where you need to go to move forward. If you handle those times well, the good times kind of look after themselves, don't they? If there's one thing every single person says when I interview them for my books, it's just this, lighten up. We all get so serious, don't we? Almost everyone I've spoken to for my book series says, if you laugh about it on your 80th birthday, start laughing about it now. Work is too important to take it too seriously. Life is too important to take it too seriously. Please, take funny seriously. Now, am I saying that lightening up and laughing more is better than meditation, exercise, socialising with friends and family? Of course not. It's not an instead of. But deliberately looking for the funny going through life is an attitude you lay down on top of all those techniques. The key lesson is to stop trying to control that big cascade of change that's out there. Instead, work on how you handle it in here and in here. I love the quote, you cannot calm the storm, so stop trying. What you can do is calm yourself. The storm will pass. If success has a motto, it's not, same again, thanks. You know, if success has a soundtrack, it's not a non-stop block of classic 80s rock. And if success has a flavour, it's not ham and pineapple. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.